Uh, John Tomasi has written about Jason Tatum at NBC Sports Boston saying, ask any local kid to name their favorite athlete, and it's invariably number zero. You wouldn't necessarily know it from the media coverage, which still skews heavily Patriots, conditioned as we've been to hang on to every happening in Foxborough like it's the first wisps of smoke from Rome. It's pretty good. It's a good line. Good. Uh, uh, smoke. smoke. No pope. Oh, pope. Oh, we got no pope. Oh, we got no pope. Uh, uh, white, white smoke. smoke. Uh, Black smoke. What do we got? We got a pope. Uh, we got a pope. He writes, but the Pats have almost overnight morphed into yesterday's news. Their struggles putting them in line for a top five pick. Were any other Boston team playing this badly, we'd discuss them only to mock them, as the Red Sox well know. He writes, Tatum Celtics suffer no issue. They're the league's last unbeaten team. He wrote it before last night's game, obviously. Oh. And Tatum is leading them. He says, it's time we appreciate him as a legitimate superstar. Unlike Bird, Pedro, Brady, Tatum didn't grab Boston by the lapels. It's not really his style. But it has been plain to see since his rookie year when he dunked on LeBron James in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Here we go again with the freaking dunk on LeBron James. I love Jason Tatum, and I'm telling you, you keep bringing that thing up, it gets obnoxious. Stop doing that. It's forced. I mean, it, you're it not making be, a good case when you not. bring that up. It was a nice play, but please. Uh, he writes Rings. that with that play, <laughs> Tatum was destined for greatness. Okay. All right. Stop <laughs> it, John. All those, all those guys John. you mentioned, one. I, Multiple. I, I agree with some of what he's saying and disagree strongly right. with other points here. Uh, but on this point that we have discussed on this show already several times, Jason Tatum is Boston's best athlete, and it's really not close. There is no one in town that can get into the conversation in their sport the way Tatum is in the conversation in his. There is no one close. Part of the problem with the NBA, you got 82 games, and is it a given the Celtics are going to be a playoffs, a playoff team? Oh, yeah. Pretty much every year. We know that oh, every yeah. year. So it's like it really ramps up at the end, and I get that. And part of the problem is he hasn't won yet. So he's in the process of getting there to win. All those guys he named are multiple ring winners. But here's the what I would say. The Patriots, you have Belichick attached to it now. If there was a random coach here and you're a 2-7 and seven team, they're not even talked about. They really aren't. It's the whole Belichick dynamic that keeps it live. The un- That's where he misses the point on Yeah, this. I would agree with that. But, I mean, but for Tatum, the unfortunate part for him is that he is coming into the Boston sports scene at a really – Bad time for I want to be a superstar, considering all the guys that we just watched. Right. Like Ortiz Bergeron. and Brady and Bergeron to a lesser yeah. degree. He won once. He was not on the level that, of Brady or Ortiz. He's the guy they've talked about. He's the guy the kids talk. If you want to it's, bring it to the kids. It's just a tough time to be thrown around in the same breath as Pedro and Manny and Ortiz and all those Red Sox stars that won multiple times. Those guys are even even and compared to Celtic superstars that we had here recently, between Pierce and Garnett, who won and had a lot of charisma to go along with it. Which again, I don't care. I don't care about the charisma. All right, you're talking about overall public perception. The NBA, well, that one does do. matter. If we're just talking about how you're going to be perceived and how you're going to be held up, swagger and confidence in the, in the NBA, I think, does matter because it's like that's that league. It's an all star league. Um, I, th- those guys, I don't know, I don't know if it, I don't know if it matters in terms uh, of like winning or losing. I'm no. just talking about in the, the attraction. public perception. Yeah. What you know, with just a Boston superstar athlete, you've got a you've got a lot of competition in the last 14, 15 years uh, in terms of guys who not only won but also did it and kind of captured everyone's imagination as a as a personality to boot. It's kind of an unfair standard is what it's become. Yeah. Because of all the success of all the guys that we've been able to watch for 25 years now. And their personalities. Yeah, but really their success is yeah, what it is. It is. That's what sort of makes it an unfair standard for a guy like Jason Tatum. That you could sit there and say, well, you know, what have you won? Because 25 years ago we weren't doing that to anybody. You could have been, oh, my God, Jason Tatum is one of the best players in the NBA. How lucky are we to watch this guy and have him in Boston, right? It, it, it just would have, been a, with, it would have been a celebration without any asterisk because it had been long enough to, to going back, what, 
uh, how many years since you had had a winning team? It would have been the Celtics. I, I look back to what I think were some of the biggest stars of the 90s here, and Clemens was one of those guys, and he didn't yeah. win crap here. And, in fact, he had meltdowns in some of his big moments when he could have really been a winner and wasn't, yet he was adored because he was the star. Yeah. Ray Bork was a star. He didn't win. wasn't his fault. They never really, you know, built the team to what it needed to be. Got a parade. Cam anyway. Neely was a star, right? There were guys who were superstars that didn't win crap. All I can think about is Jeremy Jacobs. Hey, well, you didn't win one as a player. Yeah, what a <laughs> I <a> shot camp. <laughs> um, but – those guys, those guys didn't have to meet that standard the way Tatum now does, and it's a little bit unfair to them. That I will agree to, but I would also say this to John Tomasi. Bill Belichick's a bigger star in this town than Jason Tatum is, and don't forget that. Yeah. Uh, like, you can't sit there and bemoan that people are talking about the Patriots. Bill's yeah, still here. Not yesterday. Still he's a bigger star yeah. than Tatum. Yeah. Uh, he's a bigger figure in his sport than yes, Tatum will probably yes, ever be. Yes, in terms of just recognizability, yes. yeah, uh, whatever, your Q rating, yes. And people are very much mocking the Patriots right now. Does he think they're not? Does he think they're talking about them like they're good? What, they not listen to our shows? Last night. Every he caller calls media. up and tells us to fire well, Bill, like we can do he it mentions, for them. He mentions the media. Like, where have we not talked negatively about what's going on here? That's all it is. There's like not a single mean, yeah, positive thing to be Sox, said. Sure. Yeah, but the figureheads at the Red Sox are easy punching bags. The, the Red Sox have reached the apathy stage. Yeah. The Patriots haven't yet. No. Because of the popularity of the sport. Yeah. And the popularity of the sport in this region for two decades. They trade you for 20-plus years. And the Red Sox have also gotten you used to that. First place, last place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Win a World Series, last place. You know, the, the ebb and flow, people are kind of... Used to that, and now that Plus you got a dying sport, eh, <laughs> you get a couple of last place finishes in a row. It's like, oh, we got all upset about that like three or four times over the last ten years. How upset do you want me to get? This, this we haven't seen before. This we haven't seen going back twenty plus years. So this feels new. This type of angst. Yeah, it's anger. People are angry. It's different. It's not apathy. It's angry. Yeah. Yeah. Like how to get to this? We'll get to that. What stuff? Later, football team later. They said, "How did he get to this with apathy or, no, like or anger?" Said, like, no, no, no. Like Felger even said, "No, he's saying how to get the football." Like, team. Oh, you're talking literally about how did Felger's the team like, get did, so like, bad? It, give oh. it easy. Seven wins floor, like the floor, you know. And you know, I think that's where he misses it here with the media. I think it's you know, yeah, we know it's bad. No, this we is know that guy's the best. I'm sorry, but. Like, but this is a far bigger story than Jason Tatum. I wish he hadn't brought this why are people talking game about five. the Patriots well, thing game into five? it. Game five, right? Yeah. I just I, I don't know that that's the case for Jason Tatum. The case for Jason Tatum is please stop talking about the Patriots. I'd write that. No. I'd write that. No, no, no. This I'd is a write massive all-time over. story that's playing out in front of our eyes every weekend. No. This is going to be more of a January story when that whole when whatever changes are made here. And you know, you, then you, Tatum becomes the central figure of everything. You know, and the run they're going to eventually be on. I think that's more of a change. Well, that is well, that yeah. is the thing. You're right. I mean, right now, Tatum wins. He's got the stage all to himself because yeah. nobody else is really all that close. Right. Oh, he's runaway. I know the Bruins have been off to a hot start, but they There's crapped no all one. over themselves There's last no year. No one on the Bruins, yeah. and they might do it again. There's no one on the Bruins that plays to Leonard Opasernak's a great scorer and with the flash and pizzazz of it and high-end guy. But I don't even view Pasternak in the same, like if you view Tatum. Tatum's like runaway, maybe best player in the NBA, potentially. Yeah, yeah, and he's going to be a much bigger part of his team winning than any hockey player. People put because him already in the top a, five. Just the roster. It's You're like getting in the top five. That was he a top three guy. The top two was maybe the best. That's where this thing sort of is, is heading. So. Uh, Matt is in Boston. Hey, Matt. Hey, how you doing, guys? Yeah, Beto, I understand what you're saying, but you, you just kind of said it. Um, if they win the championship this year, it's no better time for Tatum. He's gonna he's gonna own Boston, and I think he is the best player. If you went over statistically, scoring, rebounding, defense, and shooting, he's got all of those. Guys like Giannis can't shoot. Jokic, great player, but doesn't really play that much defense. So, like, he could be the best in the NBA. I think he's gonna win the MVP this year. If they win it all, thanks. Okay, and if he does, it won't be because he plays better defense than another player. That's not why he's going to win the MVP. No, no. So 
if you're going to make a statistical case that whatever, I'm just saying. Maybe he will win the MVP, but it will be because of him carrying the team and scoring. It'll be because of that. Uh, Pete's in Rockland. Hey, Pete. Hey, guys. I just wanted to sort of on the lines of the Celtics and the Patriots. Like, I remember when Ainge left, he kind of just, I thought he retired. And then all of a sudden he just popped up as the GM out there in the West. I don't know if something like that's going to happen with the Pats, with Belichick. Maybe you're just going to retire and then show up somewhere else. Um, I think I think we'd have a better sense of it with Bill if he were to leave, whether or not he was going to be done working altogether or whether or not he was leaving for another opportunity. But due to Bill's age also, I don't think there's going to be a, much of a layoff. If he does leave, he'll – and he's not somewhere by the the next season. Uh, the chances of him popping up again anywhere else in anything other than a front office, nothing to do with you know the team on the field uh, role, th- that drops significantly. I mean, what's he going to do? Step away from the team this year, take two years off, and then show up as head coach I, of the of the, the I don't know. I guess his bigger point commanders. there though is that he might just retire and walk away from the team. Yeah. Okay. I think they'd be happy if you did that. Well, I think the team would love it. They'd, I, they'd love it. I oh, think, great. Oh, Bill walked away. It was time for Bill to I go. I think in the Thank list you. of most likely no scenarios, decisions. I would no put decisions. that narrative at the top of the list as most likely. Bill's decided to retire. And then oh, take a job three weeks <laughs> later with another team. No, I, I'm saying he would really good meeting. And I'd say very unlikely. He also, I paired to us. I really don't care what he does next. Right. I, I don't care. No. Do you care? Yeah. Why? Well, if we've known the guy for twenty plus years. No, in terms of no, like, in like, terms of like a competitive no, rooting like, for the Patriots standpoint. If you were oh, to no, take no, a job no. as the head coach of the New York Jets, right? No. Let's name the most impossible, no way that would ever happen nope. thing. No. Nope. Would you care? No. It's not like no. Brady. Do, uh, Brady's going to leave. Do you care where he plays? There would never be. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Very much Still so. Still going to watch that guy. I really like that guy a lot. I'm wondering if it's going to impact uh, us when we play him. Yeah. Absolutely. No, this would be different. Or coach? Nah. Nah. Go do your thing. Uh, Wherever you want to go, you go ahead. Pays in the park. Uh, more calls on Celtics last night. Tatum is the face of Boston sports. Is he be- being treated unfairly somehow? I feel like there's a lot of whining about Tatum not being a bigger star. Uh-huh. This is this is I, this it's been going on for a while. I know. Yeah. What, I don't get it though. What what is the what do you want? What do you want? A parade? What do you need? To have trade, uh, Tatum be t- uh, considered treated fairly. I don't know These what, what else he needs. slapped the back with the 55 in an All-Star game and hoisted the trophy or the MVP of the All-Star game. Like, okay, no, that doesn't count. Those don't count. Counts to them. It counts to these. Types. I don't know. I don't know what, no, he, what, what, to what Tomasi types. wants for him. What does he need? We're going to talk Tatum all day, every day. Let's do four hours on Tatum. That'll be great. <laughs> we can take calls on how good he is. It's really good. No, how good? Like, really good. So good. So good. John, so if, good. if this show and Felger start talking about Tatum for four hours a day, you're going to be out of work, dude. So let's 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 slow your roll on that. 